Hi guys, welcome back to the Stroke Recovery Channel. If you're new to the channel, this is a series of videos um, detailing my recovery from a major stroke and helping everybody else recover as best that they can. I've been getting a lot of emails at strokerecoveryvideo at gmail.com. Um, a lot of stroke survivors are asking me to talk about certain things. Um, ask me to talk about certain things that I haven't even thought about talking about. Um, so I'll do my best to get through all the emails as quick as I can and um, start making videos about stuff that you guys want to see. A really common question I get in my emails is how to use a toilet after a stroke and if I've had any trouble. Um, the answer is of course yes. As long as we're learning how to walk, talk, eat, tie your shoelaces, you have to learn how to use a toilet again. Over the last five years I have had a lot of trouble um, using the bathroom and I saw doctors, I saw urologists, I saw bladder physios, I saw specialists and um, nobody could really help me be able to wee. Um, a lot of doctors kind of said it's in your head or there's something between your brain and your bladder that's not talking to each other anymore, you have to relearn it. And there really weren't any videos on YouTube. Um, nobody in the stroke community, the support groups were really talking about going to the toilet. I'm not sure why, maybe it's a stigma or something. But um, it's a real problem and this is my experience with it. So in the acute stages of my stroke, in the week or two after it, I was in um, a coma and ICU. Obviously had a catheter in and um, number two is kind of takes care of itself when you're in a coma. It wasn't until about three or four weeks into rehab where I lived, um, I could take a few steps. I was beginning to walk and the doctor said, all right, it's time to take your catheter out. Um, and you can weigh in a bottle. Um, it sounds pretty simple, but it was really, really hard to do. I honestly couldn't go. I, um, I tried everything. I tried deep breathing. I had to make everyone leave the room. Dead silence, and I still couldn't go. I physically could not push any weigh out. And again, the doctors kind of said, oh, we're not really sure. We haven't come across this problem in the stroke before, but I'm sure I'm not the only one. So I'd say for the year after the stroke, I probably had a catheter in nearly half the time. Um, I had to learn how to take it in and put it out myself so I could do a wee and then take it back out so I wouldn't have to have it in all the time. Um, it's a pretty uncomfortable process. It's not very fun putting a catheter in yourself every time you need a wee. It got much, much worse when I returned home. Um, probably a few months after the stroke, I was able to return home. And because I went home to a small house with some kids, um, they were always jumping and thumping around. I couldn't wee in the house. Um, I'd sit down for an hour and I just couldn't make anything happen. So I'd often go outside into the backyard and I found it easier to go out there. Um, a lot less noise. No kids crying or thumping around. At one point I had to go to the emergency room in hospital because um, I couldn't wee. I didn't have any more catheters left because you have to change them daily and um, I just couldn't go so I had to go to hospital. I basically crawled through the emergency floor in agony. They put an emergency catheter in and took about two and a half litres out of my bladder. Because I'd stretched my bladder that far I needed a week stay in hospital and another catheter for probably about two or three months just to make my bladder return to back to its normal size. I took the catheter out and lo and behold, I still had the same problem, I couldn't wee. So after the hospital visit, I went back to my GP, I said I really need to sort this out, I can't live um, not being able to wee, terrified of drinking too much water. Um, so he referred me to another urologist, I got a second opinion. That urologist said he's seen this before, something about your brain isn't talking to your bladder and letting you release the muscles to um, be able to wee. So he referred me to a bladder physio who's a specialist in this area. Um, she was really good. I had about three or four appointments with her. Um, she taught me breathing exercises and she really helped me understand that letting go and being able to wee has more to do with breathing than anything else. She also gave me some kind of Kegel exercises to do where you Breathe in and tense up your muscles and then breathe out and let them go. And that seems to really help. But um, five years on, I still have trouble weeing. I um, still, most of the time, I have to sit down on the toilet to be able to relax. Or I stand up and go outside. 
I did have to use a toilet frame for at least six months after returning home just because my left leg wasn't strong enough to get me back off the toilet um, and I need somebody to help me most of the time. If I was out in public I'd have to use a disabled toilet and use a braille and um, I used to get some really dirty looks walking out of the disabled toilet um, from people. They'd look you up and down and kind of think you're not disabled. They kind of look at you wrong and then walk off but it's another reason why there's a invisible nature to the stroke injury. So a few, few things that have helped me be able to wee um, five years later after the stroke is taking the bladder physio's advice, doing some exercises and focus on breathing. Focus on anything else other than weeing. Go outside, look at a rock, focus on the rock and you'll be able to wee. Um, to a degree it all is it all in your head but you do need to relearn how to wee again. It's not the most fun and exciting subject to talk about post-stroke, but um, I'm happy to talk about anything that people send me questions on. Um, I'm kind of picking questions and writing videos to suit them. If there are any questions you want me to answer, um, email me at strokerecoveryvideo at gmail.com or get me on Facebook under Alex Wright. I'll put up a link to my Facebook. You can ask me questions on there. Um, thanks guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and share the videos to anyone who needs to see them.